Uh, in this video, I'm going to be making a 90% silver Alabama quarter into a size five and a half coin ring. First thing we gotta do is punch a hole in it. So that's what we're gonna start with. I'm just gonna wait a little bit for uh, some people to hop in here. <laughs> it looks like there's no one here. Uh, if you're in here and you can see me, just tap the screen uh, a whole bunch so that I can tell that people are watching. TikTok's going a little slow with bringing people in. All right. Here we go. And while we wait, I'll go ahead and show you the last ring I did a couple minutes ago. This is a 90% silver Maryland quarter, size five and a half. Still got some cleaning up to do on the inside there. When I finish with this, this will be nice and shiny. So we're gonna go ahead and get started on this one. And uh, if anyone out there is interested in getting yourself a coin made into a ring, you can shop through the gold chain at the bottom of the screen or the link on my profile. Uh, if you have any questions during this live, feel free to put them in the chat. And just make sure to tap that screen and uh, hit that follow button, y'all. There we go, we got that nice and tight on there. Grab our punch. I'm just gonna hammer that right on through. Let's go. Very nice Helen Keller center punch. There's a little bit of braille on there too. Thought that was a nice touch. Let's see how our coin's looking. We got 244 likes. Thank you guys for tapping the screen. Let's TikTok know I'm doing a good job and you're enjoying the live. There is a 50% off October clearance sale going on. For the next four days at coinringmaker.com, a lot of things are 50% off. Just kind of a thank you for all the support I've got here on TikTok over the last year. I figured I'd cut everybody a deal. So if you want to get yourself a coin ring and shop through the gold chain with the link on my profile. The next step for making this into a ring is cleaning up this inside edge here. So we're just going to cut away at that and smooth it out. Again, if anybody has any questions, feel free to put them in the chat. We'll do the other side. go so now I got that inside edge nice and smooth I'm gonna go ahead and anneal this and start folding it This tank's about out of fuel. I'm gonna have to get me another one here pretty soon.
get it nice and cooled off. And we can hop over here to the one ton arbor press and start folding it up. Let's go. Arbor press. Very, very good tool right there. I like it. Very handy. So I'm just gonna pop that right on there. Give it a good fold. Just like that. Let's see if we can focus on our ring. Looking good. Go in for the second fold. Do, 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 do. Perfect. I'll hop back over to the workbench. Whoop. Get a good look at our coin so far. Gonna sand this edge right here and make that nice and smooth. So the next step is stretching it, and you don't want it to split because there's any cracks on that edge. So we're gonna make sure that's nice and smooth. And we'll anneal it again real quick and stretch it. Bro, uh, enough. Nice. I'm glad you liked it. Good to hear. How do you get a ring made? Uh, you can order through the gold chain at the bottom of the screen here, the website link on my profile, or just go to coinringmaker.com. Is there a specific type of coin you have in mind? Looking for a specific year, denomination, metal makeup, got lots of options and a bunch of stuff is 50% off for my October clearance sale so if you guys want to check that out like I said the gold chain down here the website link on my profile and I'll go to the ring stretcher and start stretching this thing out Tap the screen, y'all. Tap it, tap it. Send me some likes. It makes me feel good. You know? Gives me that little boost of confidence. Thank you for the follows, y'all. need to work out a little better lighting over here. I just moved my desk around a bit, so things are still a little weird. I had my desk on the other side of the room for three years and decided to move it yesterday. So now it's over here. Cool story, right? So here we're just making the ring smaller and smaller. I got to get this one down to a size five and a half, which is which is pretty pretty tiny. It barely fits on my pinky. Change is good sometimes. I think so. Where I had it, there was like 
I don't know, it was like a five or six inch gap I had to squeeze through all the time. And I finally just got fed up of doing it, so I moved it. I also got rid of a bunch of stuff that I wasn't using, I planned on fixing and hadn't fixed for, you know, three years or so. So I was like, all right, time to let it go. Clear up some space. And it feels much, much more spacious, spacious in the, uh, the workshop today. I'm liking it. So we're trying to get this down to a five and a half. It's still just over a six. So we're gonna finish reducing it over here. Uh, if anybody has any questions about what's going on, feel free to put them in the chat. If you haven't checked off the 50% off October clearance sale, tap the gold chain at the bottom of the screen and check out some of the stuff I make or visit the website linked on my profile. Save yourself some money. There's only a few days left in that sale. Which coin makes the most interesting ring? I really like the Morgan dollar. Currently, I'm wearing a Walking Liberty half dollar. I mean, it's, it really depends on the person who's wearing it. Like, there's, there's a lot of choices, a lot of different designs. So you can really find something that, that kind of speaks for you. Looking good. We got it right at a size five and a half. So now we're going to hop over here. And make it shiny again. Let's go. If y'all wouldn't mind tapping the screen, we got 1,100 likes on this live so far. Let's see if we can get to 2K. Just tap the crap out of it. There's 880 of you. Tap that screen like your life depends on it. Let's go. Let's do it. Have I ever worked on gold coins? Yes, I have done gold coins. I currently have one available on the website. They're kind of hard to inventory. Because uh, there's a lot of different designs out there. So different people want different things. And I just can't really stack a whole bunch of coins <laughs> that are made of gold. So uh, if there's a specific gold coin you'd like me to work on, there is a button on my profile here on TikTok that says get a quote. Just tell me about that coin and uh, we can get that going. I can get a, a quote for you. But yeah, gold gold comes out really nice. I really like them. What do I use to give them shininess? So the first thing I do is what I'm doing right now. This is really fine uh, steel wool. So it's not going to leave scratches on the surface, but it is going to get rid of that fire scale that's on there. $20 gold piece. Okay. If, if you'd like me to work on that, I could do that. Uh, gold coin rings are quite expensive. Uh, I usually charge two times the uh, gold value of the coin to make a ring out of it if if that's okay with you we can we can move forward if that's out of your price range i totally understand i just kind of have to cover my butt in case something goes wrong there and uh, gold can be kind of tricky so it takes a lot of attention but they do come out very nice. I do have an example of a quarter ounce uh, gold eagle on my website. That's fine with me. Where did you say you need to look? So go to my TikTok profile. Tap this uh, logo up here. Go to the profile. And uh, there's a button on there that says get a quote. Uh, just tell me about the coin you'd like me to work on and the ring size you need. And we can work from there. That's exciting. Like, if you're serious, I'm stoked. It It is kind of tricky to find uh, customers for gold coin rings, but I, I'd love to make you one if you're serious. So we started with the, uh, the steel wool. That knocked off a lot of the fire scale. Then I follow it with a little bit of just a jewelry polishing cloth. And that gets most of it. 
And then I follow that up with uh, this. This is Mother's uh, Automotive Polish. And what I'll usually do is coat the inside and outside with this and let it sit for a few minutes. And then just rub it off with a paper towel and any of this fire scale that's left on there comes off like butter. And then I polish again with a jewelry polishing cloth and they are super shiny. But I have a couple more rings to make, so I'm going to save the polishing uh, for a little bit later today. And go ahead and crack open this one. We've got another size 5.5 Alabama silver quarter to work on. So that's what we're going to do next. Uh, if anybody else has any questions, feel free to ask. No, thank you. I'm stoked. That's really exciting. So I've wanted to work on larger gold coins. The last one I did was a, a quarter ounce, which is it's a tiny little coin. It made a very nice ring, though, but gold is up there. And again, uh, if you haven't checked out the website yet, coinringmaker.com, the link is on my profile. And there's a 50% off clearance sale for a bunch of stuff on there, so now is a good time to get you something. Uh, if you have any questions, put them in the chat. If you're enjoying the live, tap the screen. All right, we're going to punch a hole in this. Let's go. There's the punch. <coughs> also, hit the follow button. Does my hand have a word on it? Yeah, this is a caliper. Uh, it's misspelled. <laughs> I needed to get a caliper, so I got one. So that's covered. I just need to wash that off. Yeah, it's this is a really good polish. I've tried a lot of stuff, especially with copper clad coins. It's really, really difficult to remove the fire scale that gets left when you anneal it. And this just, it melts it off. It's, it is the, it's the best polish I've found. And I've tried a bunch of different stuff. And uh, what I really like about it is you don't have to be too rough with it. You can just coat the thing you want to polish and leave it alone for a few minutes. Then come back with a paper towel and just rub it. It's, it's fantastic. And it really doesn't take a whole lot. Like, I've been using this for months, and, like, it's still pretty much full. It's, it's nuts. It's very, very good. There is our center punch. Yeah, I'm sure it works great on... I've never really even heard of it. And then I was like an offhand recommendation from another ring maker. And I was like, I'll give it a shot. And I swear by it. I think it's fantastic. Uh, what's best for copper or brass coins? Um, cleaning them? I would say the, the Mother's works very well. I use it on copper. Like it specifically says on here, aluminum polish. This is mag and aluminum, but I mean, it works on fine silver, 90% silver, copper clad. I've used it on all different kinds of coins. And it works great. Big, big fan. So uh, if anybody from Mothers out there wants to sponsor me, like I'm down. I'd happily do a partnership with them. They, they make a quality product. So what we're going to do next is uh, clean up the inside edge with our deburring tool. Just cut away at it and smooth it out. I might have to try it on my headlights. Somebody said it works on headlights. I bet it would. I'm going to have to give that a try. Uh, do you have to, to seal it after you clean it with mothers? So what I do um, is I'll coat the ring with mothers on the inside and out. Leave it alone for about, I don't know, five to ten minutes. Not too long, because if you wait too long, the, it's a paste, and it'll, it'll dry out too much. Um, 
So you leave it alone for a little bit, and then you rub it down with a paper towel, and then I just dip it in water, just some, some plain old water, and then rub the rest of it off with a paper towel, and it, it just comes off really easily. So it's, it's not too difficult to clean up. I suppose you could hit it with like soap and water afterwards, but really just a, a wet paper towel gets it done. Or dry paper towel and a little dabbing in some water. It's pretty simple stuff. It's it's great. Have the spray foam cleaner. I accidentally use it on my line. Sometimes <laughs> works perfectly. That's nice. So I've got crashing up. I've got this thing that's been sitting in my office for like six months and I still haven't got off my ass and just used it. I think I'm probably going to use the mothers first because I bet it'll work better. Uh, if I send you a coin, can you make it into a ring? Yes. Uh, if you want to have a custom coin ring order, head over to my website right here or my TikTok profile, right? Tap this logo, go to my TikTok profile. Hit the uh, get a quote button. Just tell me about the coin you want me to work on and the ring size. Just fill out that little form and I'll get back to you through email about that. Yeah, no problem. Uh, if anybody else has any questions, feel free to put them in the chat. And uh, if you want to check out some of my products, there's a gold chain at the bottom of the screen you can tap on. And you can shop right through TikTok here and not even have to leave the live. It's pretty cool. Uh, so finding your ring size. There's a lot of bad information online about this, uh, saying you can measure it with paper or string. I don't recommend any of those. Um, if you can... Go to like a hobby or craft store uh, and get yourself one of these. They're like three or four bucks. You can even measure your ring size in store. Uh, this, this is what I recommend. You can also visit a jewelry store and get size there. Uh, but this, this kind of thing is what I recommend. You want to get a nice accurate ring size so it fits comfortably. Uh, probably not. The only... Uh, time I've been able to make um, two rings out of one coin it has to be pretty good sized so this is a one ounce uh, silver American Eagle and I have done that with these before where I, I end up doing three punches I do a really small one in the center kind of a medium sized one and that'll be one ring and then a, uh, a larger one to make the main ring. And that is available on my website, that American Eagle uh, double ring set. So I would have to, I would have to look and see how big the, the $20 gold coin is. I may be able to make it into two, I may be able to make it into two rings, but that would, um, it would probably close to double the price of it. Because uh, I would be making two rings. But yeah, I, I might be able to do that, actually, now that I'm thinking about it. Like, I couldn't do it with the quarter ounce, but I might be able to do it with the 20-piece. Yeah, I think I could do that. Yeah, I don't I don't really make anything for, for children. Or for babies, at least. No, I can stretch the, the center ring out quite a bit. Probably get it at least to like a size 8. That's one thing I would need to know, is the size you want the rings to be. Because that comes into play as well. When punching uh, two rings out of the same coin. But yeah, just, just uh, let me know in the uh, the get a quote section when you do fill that out what you're looking for. And we'll email back and forth until we get that all figured out. Oop, 
I gotta anneal this. So uh, this tank is pretty much empty, so I'm gonna go get another one real quick. Uh, while I run away, uh, y'all go visit my website real quick. Check out the 50% off clearance sale. If you don't want to shop, just tap the screen a whole bunch. Let's see if we can get to 5k before I get back. I will be right back. Did we do it? We hit 5K. Let's go. Nice. Awesome. Awesome. <coughs> Saw someone lose a finger jumping off a truck, ring snug up. Woof. Yeah, if you're going to get rough and rowdy and wild, it's good to take your jewelry off first. Good good rule of finger. Hey. Hey. Pretty good. I have two. Well, one and a half. Yeah, this tank's empty too. Dang, I might have to get me some more propane. That should do it. Oh, 6,000 locks. Let's go. Uh, if anybody has any questions, feel free to put them in the chat. If you haven't hit that follow button yet, go ahead and hit that follow button. Yeah, that's where I usually get them. At Walmart. I just need to make a trip. So I'm definitely going to need some propane for the next ring I'm working on. It's a Morgan Dollar. Those things are tough. Thanks for sharing the live. If anybody out there's got some gifts they can part with, send them my way. <laughs> I see some people doing some real stupid stuff here on TikTok. People dropping gifts like crazy. I try to have a nice Bob Ross coin ring making live. And I ain't never get no gifts. It's, it's cool though, it's cool. I get it. Oh, we got a rose. Thank you very much. What's that block called? It's called a doming block. Pretty useful tool. 25 roses, hot damn. Thank you. What am I doing? I'm making a silver quarter into a ring. So this one right here still got some work to do on it, but I do have a finished one down here. And these are 50% off right now at coinringmaker.com. You can find my shop by going to the website linked on my profile or the little gold chain at the bottom of the screen here. Or just go to coinringmaker.com. Thank you, Clifton. You didn't have to do that. I'd appreciate it. $2,000 
2003 silver quarter. That would be a state quarter. So uh, if you'll just Google real quick, uh, 2003 quarters, there's going to be five different designs. Uh, just pick the state you would prefer and order that one. If that makes sense. I hope that makes sense. One time, I, I quenched a coin in here, but I didn't quench the pliers all the way. And then I grabbed them right here with my hand. <laughs> they were still pretty hot. It was, it was not the smartest move. So if you're going to quench, quench your, uh, your pliers and your coin. That's, that's the way to go. Hello from Poland. Welcome to the live, my friend. Hope you're having a good day didn't know there were 2003 state quarters yeah they started the state quarter program in 1999 and i think it goes all the way to uh, 2009 because they did five every year for uh, for 10 years Thousand three silver state quarter. Yeah, I got you. Hello from Texas. What's up? Yeah, to get the the silver state quarters, you have to order uh, special silver proof sets directly from United States Mint, and I pretty much get those all off eBay. That's the best place. That I found to get them. So what we're doing here is just bring smaller and smaller now. Got to get it all the way down to a size five and a half. Get a nice ring shape to it. Hello from Tennessee. Well, I've got Texas and Tennessee state quarters on sale right now. 50% off at coinringmaker.com. Shop link is on my profile. Or you can shop through the little gold chain at the bottom of the screen. Y'all go ahead and just test that out real quick. Y'all see that link? Test it out. Pop around. Tell me how my product photos look. Let me know. I know it's kind of weird to shop on TikTok, but uh, that's how I do it. That's how it's, that's how it's done around here. Thank you guys for following Jeff and Michael and Joey. Thank you very much. I, I really enjoy making these. So I started making them just because it's like a personal challenge to see if I could do it. And I became like fascinated, <laughs> like addicted to it. So now I try and make things every day this one is just above a size six we gotta get it down to a five and a half and finish it up over here very close Sometimes you got to do a little back and forth between stretching and reducing so you can lock in that, that proper size. How long does it take to make a ring? I usually fill orders uh, within one to two days of getting them. I can make a 
silver steak core in about 30 minutes. Don't get too distracted. But each ring is different. Uh, larger coins take quite a bit more time to work on. But I usually get them done in a day or two. Do I do wholesale orders? Uh, I haven't yet. Um, I'm open to it. If that's something you're interested in. Why don't I make necklaces and bracelets using the center punches? I make keychains out of the center punches. When you order a ring, there's uh, quite a few options for your center punch. Like you can add them on. And one of the options is a necklace. You can also do just the center punch as is. You can get it as a keychain or as like a pin you can put on like your tie or your hat or something like that. Yeah, if I'm distracted being live, yeah. Eons. So now we get to do my favorite part. It's where we make it nice and shiny again. You could use them as golf ball markers, I suppose. We're going to start with some steel, I suppose. We're going to start with some steel wool. Eight thousand two hundred lakhs. Thank you guys so much. <laughs> I, <laughs> I don't know, man. Autocorrect has a mind of its own. See how nice that looks? So pretty. Yeah, if anybody has any questions, feel free to put them in the chat. If you haven't checked out the website yet, there is a 50% off clearance sale. A ton of coin rings are half off till the end of October. So you got about four days left on that sale when everything's going back up to full price till the end of the year. Thank you. What's the biggest ring I've made? A size 18. Thing was huge. He got two of them. <coughs> I remember one of them was the, the Baron Bowl coin ring. It was huge. I put silver rings in cleaner and forget about them. Now it's all black. What uh, can I do? Um, these work really well. Uh, I get them at Walmart. Uh, they're just jewelry polishing cloths. Just a little bit of elbow grease should, uh, knock that blackness off of there. I'm not sure what cleaner you used, so that, that may be a little off. You can also use, uh, really, really fine steel wool. So this is four zero steel wool. You want to make sure you get the one that has four zeros on it. So anything rougher than this is going to scratch up the surface. But this is so fine, uh, it just gets the uh, that surface layer of whatever's on the ring off of there. It works really well. I slew my hands, would have small steel wool pieces. No, man, uh, I just kind of get this shininess, but I'll wash my hands afterwards. It doesn't mess me up. 
Take it to a jeweler. That's not a bad idea. How's it going? Good. I got three done, one to go. Yay. Love you. I love you too. So these are the three? Mm hmm. That was very nice. Very nice. Can you say that? Put it back. Okay. I'm polish next. Oh, an annoying thing. Yeah. Nice. <laughs> Van said he loves me too. <laughs> Get off of here, Van. Just kidding. Alright, so we've got uh, Mother's aluminum polish. I just took a little dollop of it. And I'm going to coat all these rings in it. Zoom out a little bit. You get the inside and outside. And you don't really have to rub too hard. Just kind of make sure you cover the whole thing with it. And once it's good and coated, you can lay it on another paper towel. Boom. That looks pretty good to me. Get the next one. I usually do these one at a time, but today we're going to do all three. And you can already see on the paper towel some of that fire scale coming off, that little blackness on there. You can get all that off of here. They're going to be nice and shiny. And then we're going to do a Morgan Silver Dollar, guys. Gonna be uh it's gonna be hardcore. I'll let those sit for a little bit. If anybody has any questions, feel free to put them in the chat. If you haven't checked out the sale yet, coinringmaker.com. 50% off most of my coin rings till the end of the month. You can find that link on my profile right here or tap the gold chain at the bottom of the screen. I just finished making these. These were 90% silver quarters. Now they are size five and a half rings and I'm just uh, letting some polish sit on them for a little bit. Uh, after a minute or two, we'll rub that back off and get started on this bad boy. Bam. This is the next coin we're gonna work on. 1900 Morgan silver dollar and he wants the tail side facing out so that's what we're gonna do Yeah, it's a good looking coin. I like them. So this part is just a bit of a waiting game. So, I'm going to let these sit for a few minutes. Uh, while we wait, y'all check out the website. I will be back in a little bit to finish cleaning these up.
Sorry to leave y'all hanging. I am back. We're going to <laughs> get this going here. We've been letting uh, this mother's polish sit on these silver quarter coin rings for a few minutes. And now we're going to rub it off and see how clean they got. What I really like about this process is you, you get to see all the stuff that's removed from the ring on the paper towel. <laughs> I'm making some potato soup in there. But it's really thick, so it's, uh, it's pretty much mashed potatoes. What's going on, John? You still in here? Sorry, I left for a minute. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna finish cleaning these up. And then I'm gonna start another live making a Morgan Silver Dollar. So I'm gonna hop off live for about five minutes and then hop back on. And we're going to make this into a ring. There's the first one. Looking good. I wish I could play music during these lives, but copyright is so tricky to get around. And I repost everything on YouTube, and YouTube freaking hates when you use music. <laughs> so I guess I could make like a playlist of copyright free music to play in the background. That could be nice. It's not a bad idea. Dang, we almost got 10,000 likes. Nice. Well, I have a business profile, so I have to follow different rules. I don't get any copyrighted music. So I have to be really <laughs> strategic with the, the music I do pick, because I'm way limited compared to the average TikTok account because I'm selling stuff. Which is which is fine. I will admit it was a little more fun to make TikToks. I don't think he has a business account. It's uh it's all about the account you pick. But because I have a business account I get all these fun widgets like I have that gold chain down here. I have the get a quote button on my profile. I have a shop on my profile. So I get I get a bunch of like bonus stuff, but I don't uh, get to use cool music, especially trending sounds. That is like the worst. Like when there's when there's just you know a solid trending sound going around. Everybody's using it. I could easily incorporate it into a video, but it's copyrighted, so I can't. It's, it's, it's tough. For my little creative soul, it makes it, <laughs> makes it a little more challenging. But I still have fun. I don't need all that fancy music. I just feel like there's like awkward silences. Uh, do I pay for the business account? No. It's, it's free to set up a business account. Uh, pretty much the only thing I pay for is like promoted videos, but I don't do those very often because they don't work very well. Nice and shiny. All right. 
so I'm going to hop off of here. I'll be back in about five minutes to make this Morgan Silver Dollar. I hope to see you there. Minutes to make this Morgan Silver Dollar. I hope to see you there.